Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hudson Middle School field for tonight's contest. We have the Hudson Raiders versus the Menominee Mustangs. Kind of a chilly evening out here today, folks, but better than it has been uh, early in the season. Hudson's used to bad weather in the beginning of the year, and uh, this year is no exception. Menominee is ready to take the kickoff here. Hudson Raiders are setting up on defense. Number six, Anna Wolf is out there to take the kickoff. This is the first conference game for the Hudson Raiders today. Same for the Menominee Mustangs. Referee Brad Merkel in the center of the field checks with his sides to make sure they're in shape and ready to go. He signals everybody ready and whistles the play on. Anna Wolf from Menominee takes the kick. It's intercepted already by the Hudson Raiders. Taylor Klatt, midfielder for Hudson, gets it, sends it back to Megan Monette, who sends the ball forward up into the front. Jostled around there, Menominee maintains possession. Midfielder sends it back. Alexa Haynes intercepts the ball for the Raiders, gets it to Maggie Kaler, who touches the ball out of bounds. It'll be a Menominee Mustangs throw in. Number two, Saranda Uckel for Menominee takes the throw, goes out of bounds. Uh, foul committed there, actually, by Hudson. It'll be a free kick for the Mustangs. Number 15, Kennedy Kirk takes the free kick. Touched by Taylor Clatt of Hudson and then by Menominee. Ball comes back to the defensive backfield of Menominee. Again, possession is uh, going back and forth with transition. Left fielder Kate Sanaki, number 10, the junior for Hudson, gathers the ball, sends it up to forward Maggie Kaler. Nice bit of footwork there by Kaler. She's dribbling in the midfield, sends it back towards uh, teammate Emily Ryder. Emily's playing center back for the Raiders today. Monette has the ball, loses it temporarily, regains and sends it back to Ryder who lofts a long ball up forward to Alexa Haynes. Haynes knocks it backward, Menominee gains control and then boots it out of bounds. It'll be the Hudson Raiders ball. Outside defender, junior number six, Megan Monette will take the throw for the Lady Raiders. Throw goes into Clatt in the midfield. We lose possession for Hudson. Regain, Maggie Kaler dribbling in the center again. Sends the ball back to right defender, senior captain Lauren Berglund, number five. Sends it upfield to Jordan Heltebrand, who's a sophomore, youngest player on the team. Uh, two sophomores, Hudson has Emily Brisky in goal and Jordan Heltebrand on the outside mid as sophomores. A lot of juniors for the Hudson Raiders. I think they have 10 juniors on their roster as well as four seniors this year. So young team, a lot of talent coming up for the Hudson Raiders, which is great. Throw in for Menominee is handled on the side over there. Ball goes out of bounds off the Raiders. It'll be a Menominee Mustang throw in. Throw in sent back to the thrower. Menominee maintains possession temporarily. Ball is intercepted by Lauren Berglund of Hudson and a long ball sent forward up on the top. Maggie Kaler, number 12, the junior for Hudson, gathers the ball, tries to keep it in bounds, goes out of bounds. It's gonna be a goal kick for the Menominee Mustangs. First of all, let's go. Goalkeeper is Caitlin Zunker for Menominee. Number one, often the number for the goalkeepers on the team. She shields the sun, gets ready to take the goal kick, sends the ball forward. Short ball goes to the Menominee defender, intercepted by Maggie Kaler. Carly Eichstead gets a shot just off to the right of the goal. It'll be another goal kick for Menominee. Caitlin Zunker will take the free kick again, the goal kick for the Menominee Mustangs. Raiders started out with a Wausau tournament, went two and one in that uh, tournament over the weekend, and now they start their first conference game of the season here against the Mustangs, hoping for a win today to get the conference season, the Big Rivers conference season started off right. Lauren Berglund, defender, right defender for the Raiders, takes the throw in, sends the ball up the right flank. Uh, possession is maintained. It was a good shot there. I think that was a uh, midfielder that took that shot. And Zunker gathers the ball, tries to punt. Not a very good effort by the Menominee goalkeeper there. It's taken uh, by the Raiders who main maintain possession in the midfield. 
Megan Manette dribbles up the field here, sends the ball up to the outside. Doesn't connect with her teammate. Menominee gains the ball, but they turn it right back over to the Raiders. There's Taylor Klatt in the midfield who gathers the ball, sends it right back to Berglund on defense. Trying to get it upfield here. She does get the ball off. Maggie Kaler touching the ball up near the top. And there's Marky Thompson with a right-footed shot. Lifts it just outside of the goal. Zunker, the Menominee goalkeeper, gathers that ball in. Brings it to the top of the penalty box and will punt that ball out to the Menominee Mustangs. That's a little better effort on the punt by Zunker from Menominee. Maintained possession there. The ball's gotten upfield from the midfielder to the forwards for Menominee. Hudson puts a little pressure on defense and Taylor Clack gets the ball, sends it out to the right flank. Well, there's an offside call there by the referee on the right side. Carly Eichstead uh, was out in front of the Menominee defender before the ball was kicked and was flagged for the offsides call. It'll be a free kick from that point on the field for the Menominee Indians. Those are some bright green shoes by the Mustang defender there taking the free kick. Not very color coordinated, but we don't take points off for that, folks. Men Menominee kicks the ball. Hudson intercepts, but sends it to Menominee. Kate Sanaki attacking the ball there. Ball's high in the air. Dropped down by Alexa Haynes, the forward for Hudson. Midfielder Marky Thompson tries to connect, but does not. A little bit of frazzled play here as transitions going back and forth with nobody controlling the ball real well. Here's Jordan Helterbrand, a young sophomore. Ball gets a little too far in front of her. She loses it to the Menominee defender who tries to bring it upfield. Marky Thompson makes a nice tackle, gets the ball away. Helterbrand has it. Going up the right side, she connects with Maggie Kaler there. Kaler draws two Menominee defenders, crosses the ball on the left, but the ball is gathered up by Caitlin Zunker of Menominee, the goalkeeper. She will punt the ball out again. She's already been pretty active this morning, uh, this afternoon, I should say. Ball sent to the midfield, and Taylor Klatt had a ball. There's a foul on the play called by center ref Brad Merkel, and Hudson will get the free kick. Captain, senior, Laura, and Berglund will take this free kick. Sends it out to the right flank to Carly Eichstead, number 20, another senior for the Raiders, makes a turn, loses the ball to Menominee. They send it up and outside, out of bounds. Lauren Berglund, the outside defender, runs to get the ball. She'll take the throw in. Coach Knutson for the Raiders always wants the defenders taking those throws to get the midfielders and the forwards up in the attack. He's a brilliant guy. Okay, Carly Eichstead gathers the ball on the right flank. She's dribbling up. Trying to get the ball forward. Pass comes to the midfield to Taylor Klatt, number two, the junior. Klatt loses the ball, goes over to Menominee. They double team her in the center, win the ball. Menominee gathers in, sends it to their right flank. Ball's intercepted by Megan Minette, the junior defender, number six for Hudson. Sent forward and Menominee harmlessly sends the ball out of bounds. Hudson will take the throw in. There's Kate Sanaki, junior number 10 for the Hudson Raiders, ready to receive a throw in here. Manette takes the throw, goes towards Sanaki over her, but it is gathered in by Sanaki after a Menominee touch. Ball sent up onto the top, and it's going to go out the end line. It'll be a goal kick where number one, Caitlin Zunker, goalkeeper for the Menominee Indians, will take the goal kick. In for Menominee, number 28. Uh, the Raiders with their preseason tournament in Wausau went two and one with a three to nothing win over, Pul I'm sorry, three to one win over Pulaski, a two to one win over Wausau West, and they were defeated by DC Everest four to one. So two and one on the year again, starting conference play. That was a good shot by Maggie Kaler, uh, pushed uh, off to the side by the goalkeeper Zunker for Menominee. It was a good scoring opportunity for the Raiders. Megan Manette sends the ball back up. Header by Maggie Kaler over to the left forward, Alexa Haynes. Alexa Haynes sends the ball to the outside to midfielder Kate Sanaki, who tries with footwork to get away. The ball's touched out of bounds by Menominee. It'll be a throw in by Hudson. Defender Megan Manette runs to take the throw, get more players in the attack. Ball goes to Kate Sanaki. Marky Thompson, captain senior Marky Thompson, gets a touch, but not much on that. The goalkeeper collects that up. Again, the goalkeeper is the most active player for Menominee at this point, just like Hudson would like to see it. 
Ball goes over to the left side of the field of the attackers for Menominee. They control the ball with three or four connected passes here. They try to send it up to their forwards. While they get it up there, they quickly turn it over. Taylor Klatt in the midfield gets the ball to Marky Thompson, who's playing a midfield position today. Kate Sanaki on the left brings the ball upfield with some good dribbling. Nice through ball to Maggie Kaler, but the ball goes to the goalkeeper, Zunker, again. Got to keep that ball just a little bit shorter and give the forwards an opportunity to gather it in and make a play on the goalkeeper. Ball's headed there by Taylor Clad in the midfield over to Marky Thompson. Marky gets tackled by the Menominee defender, but Hudson regains the ball. Lauren Berglund gets a lofted ball back up to the midfield, but goes out of bounds. That's going to be Menominee ball. Menominee takes the throw, gets the ball back into the midfield, tries to send it up to their forwards. Megan Monette is there, Emily Ryder's there for the Raiders. They send it to Kate Sanaki on the left wing. Kate, the left mid for the Raiders, brings it upfield. Nice bit of dribbling, but the pass was a little errant. Intercepted by Menominee, turned back upfield. Menominee again connects on two, three balls in a row. Some good hand ball handling by Menominee up to their forwards. This is where they usually have trouble. Ball was tackled there by Taylor Klatt, who sends it back to our center back, Emily Ryder. She brings it up our right flank to the midfielder, Jordan Heltebrand there out on the right side. They call her Texas. Texas does a nice job getting the ball back to the midfield. Sends it up to Maggie Kaler. This is a shot. That's a nice scoring opportunity for the Hudson Raiders. Zunker from Menominee comes out on the ball. Oh, the referee's got the flag out. That play is stopped and called off sides. That's, uh, we've seen that once already with Hudson. Need to see slow motion replay to make sure that was offsides. Hudson Raiders are pretty smart kids up on top and uh, don't often get called for that. Menominee will take the free kick here. Center back number five, Alyssa Jones for Menominee is going to take this free kick with the bright green shoes. She gets the ball to their midfield. Dribbling in the midfield, sending it uh, light pass back and forth. Menominee still maintains possession, comes up field. Ball's intercepted by Lauren Berglund. Menominee sends the ball back up, and midfielder uh, Jordan Heltebrand, Texas, sends it back to the defense, who sends it up to Marky Thompson in the midfield. Marky sends a long ball up the right flank, up to Carly Eichstead, number 20, senior midfielder for the Raiders. Playing forward today, Carly gets around one defender. Menominee knocks the ball out of bounds, and that will be a throw in for Hudson. Uh, you can see the referee signaling for substitution here. So a few of the Hudson Raiders come off. And new Raiders come on. Coming on for the Hudson Raiders, we see there number uh, 23. I believe that's Kyla Shuey coming into the game here. Kyla's a promising young freshman that is rostered on the JV team but comes up and plays on varsity. Kaler gets the ball up on top on the right flank. She's going against two defenders there. Sends it back to the midfield to Taylor Clad. It's intercepted by Menominee, but uh, in fact, it was sent out of bounds by the Hudson Raider. Oh, Brooke Gottschalk took a digger there, folks. I think she probably tore the spandex on that right knee. And uh, we'll have to check on the status of her later. There's a uh, contested play there where Kaler and Menominee Mustang get tangled up. The shot is sent in by the Raiders from the midfield, easily gathered by Zunker, the goalkeeper for Menominee. She sends the punt up to the midfield. Kate Sanaki gathers the ball there. Nice bit of footwork by Kate. Looking for someone to open pass to and gets the ball tackled, taken away by the Mustangs. Whistle on the play there. We've got a free kick for the Menominee Mustangs. Foul obviously committed by the Hudson Raiders in the midfield there. Didn't see the foul. Here comes a free kick for the Mustangs. Ball is sent upfield but intercepted by right defender Lauren Berglund, captain of the Raiders, one of the three. There's Brooke Gottschalk, number 11, junior Brooke Gottschalk, one of the better ball handlers on the team. She sends the ball up to Taylor Klatt. Taylor Clatt has the ball on that right flank. And the ball is knocked out of bounds by the Menominee Mustangs. That'll be a Hudson throw in deep into the corner there. Gottschalk isn't going for that ball after taking a wicked spill last time. She's gonna let Lauren Berglund, the defender, take that ball. Throw it in, we hope Gottschalk, Jack Gottschalk is okay there, folks. Berglund takes the throw in, lofts the ball. There's no offsides on a throw, so the Raiders can get in, dig in toward the goal, try to get a scoring opportunity. That ball is sent out the end line by a Menominee Mustang defender. That'll be a goal kick for the Hudson Raiders. 
Number five, senior captain Lauren Berglund takes a lot of the free kicks and goal kicks for the Hudson Raiders, and she'll set up for this corner kick. Raises her hand, uh, signaling that she's ready for the kick. Comes onto the ball, lofts it up into the penalty box area. The ball's gathered there by Maggie Kaler, who tries to turn and get a shot. Does get a shot off. Uh, not much on that. And goalkeeper Zunker gathers that one up and is getting ready to punt again. High punt this time. Close to midfield, not quite. Ball is gathered in by Sanaki, trying to bring it forward. Runs head into a defender there for Menominee. Alexa Haynes gets the ball into open space. Dribbles around two defenders. Trying to get an open shot here. Haynes wheels the ball around, comes back to Taylor Klatt in the midfield, and Klatt with a shot that's gathered by Caitlin Zunker. And that was a good stop by the goalkeeper, who uh, uh, she looks like she could get peppered by this Hudson team today. And when Hudson starts uh, smelling the blood in the water, those piranha are going to start attacking. Uh, Taylor Klatt gathers the punt from Zunker. Dribbles to midfield. She gets the ball back up to Gottschalk in the midfield. Gottschalk sends it up to forward Maggie Kaler. Hud, or, uh, Menominee intercepts that ball but sends it right out of bounds. That seems to be a theme for the Menominee Mustangs when they're under pressure at all. They just bang the ball out of bounds. That's a bit of a sign of an undisciplined team. I know Coach Knutson would be pulling what little Harry has left uh, out of his head if the Hudson Raiders did that type of play. Berglund takes the throw in for the Hudson Raiders. Good long throw in up the field. Goes out of bounds though. We couldn't, ha couldn't get that gathered in by our front forces up on front for the Raiders. Ball goes out the end line. It's gonna be a goal kick. Zunker will take the goal kick uh, for the Mustangs. Hudson's gonna turn and defend this ball here while the goalkeeper sets up to take the free kick. A little dangerous having your goalkeeper take the free kick in case it comes right back on goal. I know uh, Knutson wants the defenders for the Raiders to take the goal kick, keep the goalie in, in goal. Here comes Kate Sanaki dribbling right up the middle, gets past two or three defenders before the center back, number five, Alyssa Jones, steps in for Menominee and touches that ball out of bounds. There's photographer Maria Sanaki on the sidelines, does an awesome job taking photographs for the Hudson Raiders. She takes five to 600 photographs a game. And uh, often they're the photographs used in the press releases for the Hudson Raiders. So, you know, Coach Knutson and the team are very thankful to Maria Sanaki for all the work she does. Maria is the mother of number 10 junior, Kate Sanaki, for the Hudson Raiders. As you can see, her taking pictures there. And then in front of her, we got two photographers there. Bob Burroughs of the Hudson Star Observers is there. We got a duel of photographers going on there. Looks like Bob's got her by two inches on the lens length there, though. So Hudson takes the corner kick there. It was Lauren Berglund taking the kick. It went harmlessly out of bounds right on the kick. It's a turnover. It's a goal kick for the Menominee Mustangs. Zunker takes the goal kick, sends it up to uh, her midfielders. Number 17. Number 17 is Emily Ockler, uh, senior for the Menominee Mustangs. Sends the ball upfield. Hudson turns it back around. Defenders to the midfield. Midfielder Taylor Klatt sends it upfield, but it's intercepted there by Menominee. Good step up by Menominee on that ball. They send it forward. Emily Ryder gives it a ride, goes out of bounds there, and it will be a throw-in for the Menominee Mustangs. There's number two for the Mustangs, Saranda Uckel, junior midfielder, takes the throw-in, intercepted by... Megan Monette there for the Raiders, sends it upfield. Gottschalk's got the ball, Hudson forms the attack here. Ball goes to the center and out to the side. I think they must have called an offsides on that is why Haynes quit running on there. I'm guessing the referee's got his flag up on the other side of the field. And there it is, folks. Uh, offsides by the Hudson Raiders. I think that's three on the game. Uh, again, Coach Knutson over on the side is not animated yet, but uh, over on the right of the, of the frame here. Uh, I'm guessing he is getting excited about three offsides in one game so far. Menominee's doing a nice job of stepping their defenders up and stepping Hudson offsides. That's uh, a trapping technique that some teams play. It can be dangerous if you trap and referee doesn't uh, sometimes even uh, make the right call or a call and you get a breakaway when a team tries to trap you and doesn't have defenders back. Ball is uh, sent back and forth a few times. No real control in the midfield here, but Menominee's got a bit of an attack started. But Megan Manette stopped that. Right now, the freshman, Kyla Shuey, number 23, touched the ball out of bounds there. Menominee takes the throw. 
Goes back to the center there where Emily Ryder is going to send the ball back up to the midfield for the Raiders. Uh, attempted possession there by forward Alexa Haynes. Doesn't quite gather that in. No matter, Hudson, uh, Hudson gets a throw in here because Menominee sends the ball harmlessly out of bounds. Megan Minette, the left defender for the Raiders, will be taking this throw. You see Emily Ryder there adjusting the spandex. There's Megan Minette, takes the throw in. Ball goes up the field to Maggie Kaler, number 12. Strong forward for the Hudson Raiders. Uh, Hudson loses possession. Ryder's there to clean things up again, send the ball back up forward. Goes to Menominee, Menominee gets possession, doesn't maintain, Kate Sanaki of the Raiders gets it, but dribbles out of bounds. Ball is turned over to the Menominee Mustangs. I know Coach Knudsen would like to see the Raiders with a little better uh, composure on their possession. Number two, Saranda Eukel takes the throw in again from Menominee, touched by number 13 there, Nastia Solsa, the senior midfielder from Menominee. Nastia Solsa, I like that name. Number 13 for Menominee there. Uh, adjusting something, getting the ball, there we go. Uh, gets the ball, sends it back for the free kick there. Must have been obviously a foul created by Hudson, probably a push or uh, obstruction or something there. Mr. Merkel is a very good referee, one of the better in the Big Rivers Conference and uh, obviously made a call there against Hudson. Free kick goes into the box there. Kate Sanaki clears the ball, but clears it out the end line. That's going to end up being a corner kick for Menominee. Number 15, Kennedy Kirk, the junior midfielder for Menominee, is going to take this corner. What they usually want in a corner kicker is somebody that can get it up into the six-yard box or, or at least into the 18-yard penalty box. Kirk is going to take this kick left-footed when it's put inside the arc there on the corner. Raises her hand, signaling she's ready. Her left-footed kick, pretty good kick. Goes near the six-yard box. Ryder touches it away. Uh, Taylor Klatt gets that ball. Maggie Kaler digs back in on defense to win that ball. Sends a couple of nice touches upfield. One more player to beat. Maggie Kaler's on a bit of a breakaway. Takes a touch toward the goal. Cuts it back. Let's see if she can get the shot off there. She sends it to the midfield with Kate Sanaki. Kate gets a shot, but doesn't get the hips turned quite uh, around as far as she needed to. Ball goes where the hips go on the shooters, and Sanaki sends the ball to the right side of the post. And uh, Zunker collects the ball, takes the goal kick there, uh, sends it to their left flank, Hudson's right. Ball is still on that side of the field. It is touched out by Menominee there. Again, any pressure, Menominee seems to just want to bang that thing out of bounds, and that is great for Hudson. So the Raiders are going to get that ball. Defender Lauren Berglund runs to take that throw, keeping as many midfielders and forwards for Hudson in the game as possible. And up in the attack, in the attacking third there. Berglund takes the throw to Kaler, touches it back to Klatt. Klatt to Sanaki, back to Kaler. Kaler's like a junkyard dog up in the front there. She really hustles. Very strong up on top. I don't think there's many players that want to defend uh, either uh, senior captain Alexa Haynes or junior midfielder Maggie Kaler. Those two are pretty strong up on top. Berglund ready to take the throw in again for Hudson. Sends it down the right flank. There's a strong crown on that field over there. Or, uh, angled crown, I should say, and the ball often just goes out of bounds as you see it there. Uh, big dip over on that side. Both teams need to be aware of that and to be able to maintain control and possession of the ball. Otherwise, that crown just carries the ball right off the field. Uh, throws taken by Berglund again. Uh, ball has maintained possession there by Menominee for a nanosecond. Goes back to Hudson from Clatt to uh, uh, Hudson Raider there. That's Kaya Faya, junior Kaya Faya, number seven, that's in for the Raiders. Gottschalk gets the ball back to Faya. Faya sends the ball up to Clatt. Menominee intercepts and sends the ball forward to their forwards. Touched away by Berglund. Back to Menominee. Transition back and forth here. Kate Sanaki, number 10, the junior midfielder for Hudson, gathers the ball, makes an evasive mover. Ball gets a little too far away from Kate, though, and intercepted by Menominee, who brings it upfield. They attempt to get it up to their forward, but nobody's there for the ball. Ryder sends the ball with a bit of a give and go there. Uh, to, to uh, Megan Manette. Ball didn't come back, but here's a play for Hudson. 
There's Alexa Haynes on a breakaway. Oh, the goalkeeper stretches to get a hand on that ball. That was an excellent scoring opportunity. Haynes beat a couple of the Menominee Mustangs right up the middle. Uh, tried to step the ball to one side and unbalance the goalkeeper, but the goalkeeper made a great move on there, coming out on Haynes and smothering the ball uh, to end the scoring threat for the Hudson Raiders. Here they come again. Maggie Kaler gets the ball deep into the attacking third, looking for a teammate to pass to there. Ball comes out. Uh, Kaler sends it back to the open Berglund who takes a shot uh, near the goal off to the left side of the goalkeeper and Zunker the goalkeeper for Menominee again most active player for the Menominee Mustangs today is ready to punt the ball away. She gets the punt away directly to one of their midfielders good punt good reception and maintaining possession for the Mustangs back to the midfield there back to a defender now forward trying to get it upfield uh, Often called dump and run. Menominee, again, if you don't have skill, you just often send as long a ball as you can and hope your players can maintain possession. There they combine on a pass from the midfield to the forward. Menominee is touched away there. That was a, it was a great play by Emily Ryder, and then she threw a hip check into the next player. Uh, Mr. Merkel, the referee, uh, wasn't about to let that one go. You gotta play the ball first. And if you play the ball first, you generally can get away with shoulders, hips, and almost anything you need to. In that case, the ball was a little too far away. The hip check was thrown, and Merkel calls the foul on Emily Ryder, the junior center back for the Raiders. Menominee here, number 15, Kennedy Kirk, again the junior for the Menominee Mustangs, will take the free kick. Pretty strong leg. Hudson's got to be aware on defense here. Ball comes up and into the penalty box area. Ball's touched by Faya, I'm sorry, by Berglund there. And now it's gathered in by Gottschalk. Gottschalk tries to get around the defender, loses the ball. She sends the ball in, goes off a Hudson Raider defender, and that's going to be a corner kick for the Menominee Mustangs. Looks like number 13, Nastia Solsa, gets the ball for the Mustangs there. She's going to bring it to the corner. You see her bright red hair shining in the sun there. Solsa gives the ball up there. Number 20, to another Menominee Ice Mustang. I believe that's number six, Anna number Wolf. 15, Anna Wolf uh, is a senior forward. She's going to take this corner kick. She sends the ball up and in, not very deep. Uh, Hudson defenders touch that ball out of the penalty box area. Gathered in by Carly Eichstead, who dribbles upfield and sends the ball to her right flank. Brooke Gottschalk, the uh, midfielder for Hudson, is there. Sends it back to Carly Eichstead. Eichstead and Gottschalk playing the ball back and forth there. Gottschalk sends the ball into Taylor Klatt, the center mid for the Raiders. Klatt tries to get by a Menominee defender, can't quite get by her. Gets uh, onto another defender, still dribbling well. Good possession by Klatt there. Menominee intercepts that ball and they get ready to counterattack. They send the ball upfield, but right onto the feet of Megan Monette, who sends the ball back up for the Raiders. Intercepted by Menominee. Again, a little frantic play here. Menominee gathers the ball back to Hudson. Hudson touches it out of bounds there. The ball goes off of Megan Manette. And it'll be a throw in for the Menominee Mustangs. Saranda Uckel, junior uh, defender for Menominee, takes that throw in. Ball comes back to Uckel there. Intercepted by Kate Sanaki on the left flank. The Raiders have something going here. Sanaki trying to get the ball up to Alexa Haynes. Can't quite do it. Menominee kicks the ball out of bounds under pressure. Megan Manette with another throw in for the Raiders. She takes the throw in to midfielder Taylor Klatt, sends it back to Manette. Manette sends a ball lofted into the midfield there for Brooke Gottschalk. Muddy area of the field there, folks. Gottschalk gains control, tries to dribble to the outside, send it up to the right flank to the midfielder. There's Jordan Texas Heltebrandt on the outside there for the Raiders. Uh, she's pressuring the Menominee defender who with the help of the crown of the field there, ball harmlessly goes out of bounds. It'll be Raiders ball. Berglund defender comes up to take the throw in for the Raiders. Ball goes up and into Carly Eichstead. Carly with the left foot, tries to get around the defender, can't, turns with the right, gets the ball blocked, <laughs> sends it out to Gottschalk. Gottschalk lifts a nice ball into the box. Oh, that's a great uh, push on the ball by Zunker who got over the back of Alexa Haynes to push that ball away. Uh, well done by Zunker, the Menominee goalkeeper. Berglund gets the ball, sends it back upfield. There's Gottschalk as an outside mid, sends it to Jordan Heltebrand. Heltebrand turns the ball over there to Menominee, but Alexa Haynes gets the ball and has a contested uh, 
opportunity there with Zunker picked up the ball and won that battle. Zunker punts the ball but sends it right to uh, the Menominee defender, Lauren Berglund for the Raiders. She gets the ball back upfield to Haynes. Haynes touches it forward, nobody there, and Zunker's gonna pick that ball up. Haynes did a nice job following her shot there though to at least contest it. Punt is upfield, uh, bounced back by the Menominee defenders to the Hudson Raiders, goes back to Manette there. Manette sends the ball up to Alexa Haynes, tries to center a ball to Carly Eichstead. Misplayed the ball there on the shot because uh, actually she didn't misplay it. The Menominee defender stepped in and blocked it. Again, a little bit back and forth. A lot of transition here today. Eichstead sends the ball up forward. Here's an opportunity. Alexa Haynes gets a right-footed shot, goes right to the goalkeeper there. Uh, her hair is uh, coming a little undone, folks, and she's looking a little haggard now. This is where Hudson starts peppering a goalie. I think they're already starting to smell the blood in the water here, folks. And uh, this is, uh, is going to get interesting here if the Raiders uh, get that first goal. They're outplaying Menominee significantly here, out shooting them, out playing them. I don't think Menominee even actually has a shot on goal yet. It's a good thing Coach Knutson likes it when their goalkeepers don't touch the ball the entire game. That's very positive. There's Knutson over on the sideline getting a touch on the ball. Did you see that behind the behind the leg uh, uh, foot skill there by Knutson? That's, uh, that's something the kids could learn. Ball's thrown in off the Menominee Mustang there, and it's going to be Hudson's throwing again. Captain Berglund gathers the ball, gets ready for the throw, winds up, takes a long toss up the right flank there. Once again, knocked out by the Menominee Mustangs. Berglund will take another throw. Hudson tries to create some separation on these throws to maintain possession. Berglund readies for the throw. There's Kate Johnson, number eight, the junior for Hudson. A lot of energy in that kid. Kate Johnson running toward the ball, checking to the ball, and uh, while she doesn't get it, that's a uh, great play to have movement to create space. Ball comes in to, from Kaler to Jordan Heltebrand. Nothing there. Menominee's packing it in, folks. They got eight or nine defenders back there, it seems like. Hudson gets the ball back out to the right flank. They send it upfield. Here comes Texas on the right side. She cuts it in with a nice ball, gets a little bit of space, takes a shot, and the goalkeeper Zunker catches a snow cone. That looked like uh, that looked like quite a play by the goalkeeper there. I uh, don't believe she hung on to that, but she did. Looked like she had glue on her hands on that one. That was a good shot by uh, junior, or I'm sorry, sophomore uh, outside midfielder Jordan Heltebrand. Ryder sends a ball, I think, way out of bounds there, but it ended up being off of a Menominee player, and it's going to be the Hudson's throw in on the on the right flank there. Berglund takes the throw in, sends it up to the midfield there to Gottschalk. Gottschalk toes it with her right foot up to Maggie Kaler. Kaler touches it uh, over to Kate Johnson in the midfield, who sends it to Carly. I think they called us for offsides again, folks. You'll see the referee's flag pointed at the part of the field where the Hudson player was offsides. That's number four for the Raiders. That's not going to be good. There may be some sprinting at the next practice uh, implemented by Coach Knutson to this Hudson Raider team who's had four offsides calls already in this first half. Menominee tries to send the ball up forward. Carly playing left midfield touches it. Goes back to Menominee, back to Hudson, back to Menominee. Long ball sent up field. Emily Ryder gathers that. Nice trap by Ryder. Sends the ball over to Lauren Berglund. Berglund sends it up to the right side to the midfielder. Not quite quick enough over there for Hudson. Menominee gathers the ball, sends it deep into the Hudson corner there. Ryder's taking her time. Oh, gets pushed by the Menominee Indian. Oh, and Ryder, Ryder pushes back. I can... Uh, I think pretty confidently say that those two girls, uh, Ryder and Solsa, are not going to be trading Christmas cards this year, folks. Ryder's going to take the free kick. The penalty was called on Nastia Solsa for the Menominee Mustangs. Ryder takes the free kick, and the ball is sent out of bounds by the Mustangs. Ryder's running for that ball. She's going to take this throw in while Berglund goes to center back. Sometimes these girls will switch positions. That's absolutely fine. They just recover into their normal positions when they can. Good throw in by Ryder. Uh, maintained possession by Haynes. Back to Ryder. Ryder sends the ball up to the right flank there. Brooke Gottschalk's got a chance for a bit of a breakaway here. Gottschalk cuts the ball in. Good ball control by Gottschalk. And what did they call there, folks? They called a push on Brooke Gottschalk. Boy, that, uh, 
that looked pretty harmless to me, folks. Uh, the Menominee Mustang player flew by her with momentum, and Gottschalk might have got her left arm out there, but I certainly didn't see a push. Uh, you know, Gottschalk is, is not a mean kid. She's not going to do that. Kaler gets the ball up into the midfield. It's gathered by Thompson, who does a quick turn, sends the ball over to the left forward. Carly Eichstead touches the ball to her right and gets a shot off to the midfield. They're headed by Kaler just to the right side of the goal there. Hudson Raiders left side of the attacking part of the field there. Uh, that'll be out the end line. And that's going to be a goal kick for the uh, Menominee Mustangs there. And the goalkeeper, Zunker, the hair is getting a little bit undone. I think she's, uh, she's being frazzled. She looks tired. She takes the goal kick. Goal kick goes out of bounds. Going to be Hudson Raiders' ball here. Berglund hustles up right side there in the attacking third winds up to take a long throw sends the ball up to Kaler who tries to head that Kate Johnson gets a left footed shot here comes Alexa Haynes and uh, ball went off the Menominee defenders it's going to be a corner kick for the Raiders Lauren Berglund captain Berglund number five takes the corner again you see Taylor Platt number two the midfielder out on the point Jordan Heltebrand, Alexa Haynes, Maggie Kaler all in the pocket area there. Ha uh, Kaler tries to get a header on the ball. Can't quite get there, but a great effort by Kaler. Ball sent in by Berglund, just touched by the right hand of the goalkeeper who flips backwards. And you want to see a funky hairdo, folks. Look at this. <laughs> nice stop by Zunker, but I think the uh, I think the Raiders are getting into her head and they're really messing up her hair. Here we go, Captain Berglund's gonna set up for a corner kick here. Uh, kick from the left side, she's gonna take it with her right foot, putting it up on the point of the arc. Corner kick comes in right into the goal box there, pushed away by the keeper, shot by Kate Johnson. Happens to be a lucky bounce back into Zunker's hands in the goal, my gosh. <laughs> Zunker knows she's in for a game here, folks. Takes that punt, but I think Zunker's scared for what's coming here by the Hudson Raiders. Kate Johnson gets control of the ball, sends it back to Taylor Klatt in the midfielder for midfield for the Raiders. Klatt sends it up to Haynes. Haynes back to the midfield to Jordan Heltebrand. Heltebrand dribbles in. Here comes a shot. Kaler trying to get a touch on the ball. Caught by the Menominee Mustang, sent back out. Here's Haynes with the ball on the right side of the box. Haynes gets a left-footed shot. Ball is volleyed in by Maggie Kaler for the Raiders' first goal of the game. Zunker is discouraged with all that pressure from the Hudson Raider folks. Kaler and Haynes have been pounding that goal. That's the first goal at 36-42 of the first half. It's taken 36 minutes and 42 seconds of the first half for the Raiders to get their first tally. Uh, this could easily be a four to nothing game, folks. Uh, five to nothing, anything like that. I'd be disappointed if the Raiders didn't get at least four goals in this game. But that's the first, almost halfway through the game. We play two 40 minute halves. Center ref Brad Merkel has got Menominee back up to the center, blows the whistle. Menominee takes the restart kick, tries to get it upfield here. They send the ball up, and uh, may, or, uh, Emily Ryder, center back for the Raiders, sends it in. Menominee does get a shot upfield. There's a touch by Emily Brisky, goalkeeper for the Raiders, bounces the ball and sends the punt past midfield. Well done, Emily Brisky. Ball is uh, headed by Menominee, who fumbles that uh, header, and Alexa Haynes is very op uh, opportunistic up on top with Kaler. Kaler and Haynes, here they come again. Kaler's left-footed shot bobbled by the goalkeeper, Zunker. She does finally maintain possession and punts that ball away. Zunker gets it almost to midfield. Berglund touches the ball back up. What do we have here? Stop in play. Brad Merkel, center referee, calls a foul against the Menominee Mustangs. And Captain Lauren Berglund will take a free kick here. Berge takes the kick, sends a nice ball over to Emily Ryder into space. Ryder gets that ball upfield. Makes a nice cut to get away from the defender to create more space. Looking for options here. Ryder sends it to Klatz. Intercepted by Sulsa for Menominee. They can't maintain possession. Heltebrand comes back. Tries to maintain possession and does. Sends it to Clad in the midfield. There's Clad over to Kate Johnson. Kate touches with the left. Keeps the ball coming to her left side. Sends the ball up to the forward there. Number 17, senior captain Marky Thompson. 
Markey tries to navigate there and touches the ball out the end line. That's going to be a goal kick for the Mustangs. Looked like they had something going there for the Raiders. Uh, Markey couldn't maintain possession. Ball goes out of the end line uh, pretty harmlessly there. There's Zunker. That hair is uh, that hair is looking frazzled right now. Zunker takes the free kick there. A short free kick intercepted by Maggie Kaler. Marky Thompson gains control there, sends it back to Megan Monette. Monette. Monette tries to send it up. Kate Johnson finds that ball there after Menominee touches it. Kate's trying to control that ball there. And a takeover by Megan Monette goes to Marky Thompson who tries to send it up to Carly Eichstead. There's Kate on the left again trying to get it to Eichstead. Eichstead might get a shot here, folks. Sends the ball to the center. There's uh, Taylor Klatt who whiffs on a ball there. That's unusual for Taylor to do that. Menominee gets the ball, they send it up to their midfield and then trying to get it up to the forwards here. Here's Menominee with a bit of an attack. Ryder slowing the attack down. Menominee just, uh, just sends the ball weakly to our goalkeeper, Emily Brisky, and Brisky deftly uh, takes a nice shot up to the midfield. Raiders have the ball again. Marky Thompson controlling, sends it up to the left side for Carly Eichstead. Carly keeps the ball in on the left side, bangs it off the shins of the Menominee defender, and Hudson will take the throw in in the attacking third of the Mustangs. So left side defender, Megan Monette's running for that ball. Now he's telling Megan with those bright orange shoes. She takes the throw in, goes to Maggie Kaler there, number 12. Kaler sends it across the top of the penalty box. And that was a volley on the left side that uh, goes over and to the left side of the Hudson Raider side of the net there. It's going to be another goal kick for the Menominee Mustangs. Zunker is looking a bit tired right now. Oh, there's some subs here. That's the end of the half, actually, folks. That'll be the first 40 minutes in the books. Going to reset the clock at a 10-minute halftime here. So the Hudson Raiders take a 1-0 lead at halftime. Here we go for the second half of the Hudson Raiders versus Menominee Mustang game at the Hudson Middle School varsity soccer field. It's a chilly night tonight, folks. Got the first half in. The Hudson Raiders are up one to nothing here with Hudson uh, taking the kickoff to start the second half. Center referee Brad Merkel checking with his side referees. Everything's in order. Menominee still getting out on the field here. I know Coach Knudsen of the Hudson Raiders wants his team out and waiting for the other team. So psychological uh, advantage, he thinks. We got Megan, uh, or uh, Maggie Kaler and Alexa Haynes on top. They send the ball back to send it forward there. Ball comes up to the forward Carly Eichstead who gets it up on top. Haynes may have an opportunity here. Menominee goalkeeper touches that aside. Jordan Heltebrand tries to one-time it into what was an empty net there for a minute. She gets the ball back, dribbles it to the midfield. Klatt gets the ball to Haynes. Heltebrand has the ball, takes a right-footed shot. Not too much on that ball. Heltebrand needs to drive that thing rather than a little bit of a chip there. Zunker's got her hair put back up. I don't think that's going to last for long, though, folks. She sends the ball, Hudson Raiders intercept, goes from Thompson back to Berglund. Berglund dribbles a little there, sends the ball up to the right flank. Haynes has got another opportunity up on top here. Menominee gathers the ball, Haynes intercepts, works around another defender, left-footed shot, goes wide left of the post there, folks. If she could have came with a shot to the near post there, it might have been the Raiders' second goal of the game. Haynes has already got one assist in the first half there with a goal by Maggie Kaler. <coughs> Haynes will play a pretty strong half, I'm sure. There's a goal, uh, goal kick there, intercepted with a header by Alexa Haynes, who's going to get a shot on uh, opportunity to get a shot on goal here. Pulls the ball around with the left foot, sends it into the goal box, and that's a shot taken by the Raiders. That's uh, uh, off. The, uh, off the Menominee Mustangs, actually. The goalkeeper got a hand on that. It's going to be a corner for the Raiders. Captain Berglund there on the right side. She's going to take the corner kick again for the Raiders, positioning the ball there. A little bit of a hill there, and the ball rolls away sometimes. Got to get that ball settled. Berglund raises her hand, signifying she's ready to take the corner. Here it is. She lost a nice ball into the goal box, grabbed by Zunker, the goalkeeper for Menominee. That's a good ball, a little too tight to the end line there, made it an easy play for Zunker, and yet uh, she had to make that play, or the Raiders would be up two to nothing. Sinaki intercepts the ball, sends it upfield, gets it over to Kaler. Kaler sends it to Eichstead on the outside there. 
Eichstead handling the ball, tries to find an open player, goes to Taylor Klatt, who uh, gets the ball a little too far away from herself, and it's intercepted by, by Menominee and sent out of bounds. There's Megan Manette running for the ball. Megan Manette's gonna take the throw. We've got Kate Sanaki, Marky Thompson over there, along with uh, Taylor Klatt. Hudson trying to get open. There's Klatt that's open. She sends it back to Thompson. Thompson's gonna try to lift that ball into the penalty box area where Kaler's waiting. And once again, the ball is just harmlessly sent out of bounds. Menominee has no confidence in their ball handling ability because anytime they get the ball, they just bang it out of bounds, which is again, is great for the Raiders. There's a ball received by Taylor Klatt. Taylor Klatt tries to send it out. Uh, touched out of bounds by Menominee. This is gonna be Hudson's throw in again. Megan Minette getting ready to come to the touch line there, take the throw. Kate Sanaki checking to the ball, but uh, Minette throws it back to Marky Thompson, who's tangling with a defender there, but crosses it onto the top of the box where Maggie Kaler's up on top. She turns, trying to navigate a yard of space there. Ball's touched away by Menominee, kept in by Hudson, sent out by Menominee, outside again. Wow, that was great footwork by Coach Knutson there, one touching it up to the hand. Uh, handing it to his player. Must be an exceptionally skilled player. Ball is sent over to Carly Eichstead there on the left. Eichstead sends it back to the midfield. Marky Thompson handling the ball there, trying to keep it away from Menominee. Sends it back upfield. Carly Eichstead jostling for the ball again. Menominee gathers it, but gets it right to Monette. Monette left foots a ball into the box there to Maggie Kaler. Get, Kaler gets the ball to Sanaki, and there's a shot and a volley by Alexa Haynes on a second opportunity. That was a great opportunity. Awfully tough, folks, to, to volley that ball in midair into the net. Uh, you, professionals miss that all the time, too. That's a hard ball to hit in, but they look beautiful when you can get knock a volley in. Here's Zunker taking the goal kick for the Menominee Indians. She's setting up. Haynes is right there to intercept again. Zunker's balls are getting a little bit shorter here, and that ball just gets sent out of bounds. That's going to be a Hudson Raider throw in. Hudson's going to get on back on the attack here shortly. Here's Berglund with the throw in on the right side there. Taylor Klatt shows, but Berglund throws it deeper to Haynes. Haynes traps the ball, dribbles into the middle. Gets a ball up to Maggie Kaler, a little too far. Ball's gathered by Zunker, the goalkeeper for Menominee. And she's gonna punt this ball away. That's a little better, better effort by Zunker there. Ball almost goes to midfield again. Hudson maintains possession, however. And Marky Thompson sends it upfield to Carly, who sends it back to Monette. Monette back to the outside. Ball goes out of bounds. Gonna be Hudson ball once again. Ryder gathers the ball, tosses it over to Manette, and Manette's gonna take the throw in. There's Bob Bakken over on the sideline, long time Hudson Raider coach who had three goalkeepers in his family. Ball goes up the left side for the Raiders there. Ball's touched away by Menominee. They try to make a uh, attack. They come up the right side. That's the first time the Menominee's had the ball on this half of the field in this second half here. Hudson gathers the ball. Emily Ryder sends it over to Lauren Berglund. Berglund sends the ball up to our midfield where Alexa Haynes, the forward, actually digs back, gathers it in. She tries to get it to Taylor Klatt. Menominee intercepts and sends it up to their forward and they mishandle it to our defense. There's Lauren Berglund on the right side again. Bergie sends that ball up, intercepted by Menominee. Menominee gets a couple touches on the ball. There's four or five touches in a row there before they harmlessly send it to our center back, Emily Ryder again. Taylor Clack gathers the ball. Here comes Hudson on the attack, almost getting assist by the referee there. Marky Thompson coming up the left flank. She gets a ball, through ball, slotted ball to Taylor Clatt, actually touched by Maggie Kaler, intercepted by Menominee, who they turn the ball, they try to send it upfield. And there's Berglund chasing the ball down. Uh, she does stop that ball. Instead of the throw, she takes the kick there. Uh, tries to send it upfield. Uh, we don't handle that well. Ball goes out of bounds. That'll be a Menominee, uh, Menominee Mustang throw. Marky Thompson back with the ball for the Hudson Raiders. Gets the ball to Kate Sanaki. Nice move in the aqua shoes there by Kate. She sends the ball up to Maggie Kaler. Maggie Kaler gets a shot on goal there. The goalkeeper did a nice job there. Ball's brought back in with a rollback from Alexa Haynes. She had something going on there, but uh, enough defenders for Menominee in the box and the goalkeeper picks up the ball to make a stop. 
punts the ball away. Again, Hudson Raiders in typical form maintain possession on their free kicks. Taylor Clack gets the ball in the midfield. She's making a bit of a run here. Tries to get by one defender and doesn't. Tackled by the Menominee defender, number 15. And again, that's Kennedy Kerg. Kerg tries to handle the ball upfield. Does have a little bit of a run going there. Not, not a lot of speed, but maintains possession. Crosses the ball harmlessly into the goal box there. Brisky made that look a little tougher than it was, but uh, goes to the ground on that ball. Bounces the ball as she normally does, and she punts the ball past midfield. Brisky's a pretty good punter for the Raiders. I know the coach likes her. Oh, here's a breakaway. Here's Haynes. Haynes has got the breakaway. She shoots and scores right through the legs of goalkeeper Caitlin Junker of Menominee. At 47-57 of the second half, the Raiders lead the game two to nothing. That was a, a great sequence there where the Raiders got the ball. Uh, Brisky, the goalkeeper for Hudson, makes a nice punt. Ball is touched up from the midfield to the forward. Alexa Haynes there, number 16, who's hunched over after making that long run. And uh, Captain Alexa Haynes get by, gets by a couple of Menominee Indians. Oh, the old Indians. Now it's Menominee Mustangs. An old guy like me from Durand. We used to play the Menominee Indians all the time, but politically correct now, they are the Menominee Mustangs. That was a great goal by Haynes. Menominee's anxious to get started here. They take the kickoff, which is quickly intercepted. Ball is sent upfield to Haynes again. Haynes sends it through one defender, but another defender is there. And they just send it harmlessly out of bounds. That's going to be Hudson Raiders throw in there. You know, again, Menominee just simply has no confidence with their foot skills or abilities. And, uh, okay, now the referee's actually calling a foul there. Must be calling a foul on the Hudson Raiders for Haynes. Boy, I sure certainly didn't see that. They're giving Menominee a free kick here. Uh, defender number 10, Haley Knutson, and uh, no relation to Coach Knutson of Hudson, uh, takes a free kick there. Another foul is committed by Hudson there. Uh, you guys might be seeing something I'm not, folks. There certainly doesn't seem to be anything egregious there, but it must have been either a trip or a push or something. Menominee's going to take the free kick here. Number 15, Kennedy Kerg, is going to take that free kick for the Menominee Mustangs. Center back for the Mustangs, big, tall, strong kid. Kennedy Kerg ready to take the free kick. Uh, not a great ball intercepted by uh, the midfielders there, Taylor Klatt. There's uh, Jordan Heltebrand gets the ball. Up. Oh, there's Taylor Klatt. Must have been Brooke Gottschalk. There's Gottschalk and Taylor in the middle there. Here, George. Actually, that was Maddie Hemauer before, number 22. Maddie Hemauer for the Hudson Raiders making her first appearance here. Nice defense on the ball there by Maddie Hemauer. She sends it off the shins of the Menominee Mustang. That's a good use by Maddie Hemauer to get the free throw in for the Hudson Raiders. Well done, Maddie Hemauer. There's Emily Ryder in back, uh, giving her an option to be a safe back pass there. But Hem takes the throw forward, gets it up to Jordan Helterbrand, sends it to the middle. That's going to be touched by Emily Ryder upfield. Upfield there we have Maggie Kaler who gets the ball. She cuts it back to her right, sends it over to Taylor Clatt in the midfield, back to Kaler. Kaler dribbles upfield. Oh, nice step over by Kaler there. Good burst of speed. Trying to get past one last defender, and she does. Here's Kaler, sends the ball to the middle of the box. Haynes can't quite get a foot. There's a shot. There's a shot by Kate Johnson. Ball comes across the field by Maggie Kaler. Kaler gets a great assist dribbling across the goal box here and uh, sends the ball. Kate Johnson in a perfect position on the backside at 50 minutes and 12 seconds into the second half. The Raiders take a 3-0 lead on the Menominee Mustangs. Well done by the Hudson Raiders on the attack. Again, Hudson just dominating time of possession, shots, uh, saves every, you name it, Hudson's leading this game in all aspects. Uh, I think some of the heads on the Menominee Mustangs are drooping a little. They're ready to go home, but we still have some time left. We've got 30 minutes left in this game, folks. Menominee takes the ball upfield. They get dispossessed there. Sarah Helene did a nice job for the defense of the Hudson Raiders on that left side. Menominee sends the ball back into their attacking third harmlessly, and defender Maddie Hemauer is there to take the kick. Maddie trying to negotiate some space there. Ball goes off of the Menominee defense. Oh, it goes off of Hemauer. It's a Menominee throw in here. Marginal throw in by the Mustangs there. And they send a harmless ball into Emily Brisky who touches the ball for her second or third time only in the game. Brisky punts the ball here once again. That's a good punt by Brisky past midfield. 
The uh, ball goes upfield toward Kate Johnson, the uh, forward on the left side up there. Maggie Kaler gets a touch, sends it to Sanaki in the middle. Sanaki dribbles in, sends the ball, but can't get through Kirk on the defense there. Taylor Klatt sends the ball to, oh, <laughs> goalkeeper took a digger there in the backs of her heels, almost smacked her in the back of the head, folks. <laughs> That was uh, that was kind of a funky fall there, and, and uh, Caitlin Zunker has got to realize that that might go on ESPN's uh, not top ten. I think she got a face full of dirt there. The hair came down, and the two heels tapped her in the back of the head. <laughs> kind of funny, actually. Uh, sorry to laugh at her for that. She's waving off her defenders there, who uh, are either there. She waves them off again. They're either giving a hard time or asking if she's okay. Either one. Uh, that was a good effort by the Hudson Raiders. Take the uh, goal kick. Uh, Zunkers get a little tired now their defenders are taking those goal kicks. Hudson maintains possession. Here comes Taylor Klatt from the midfield. Klatt gets a shot that goes to the left side of the goal uh, for the Raiders. It's gathered in by Zunker who's going to punt this ball. And she does. Zunker punts the ball, sends it way short of midfield again. Maddie Hemmer uh, hops up to try to trap that ball. Uh, Solsa uh, up on the top with uh, Menominee there. They try to get some attack going here, but too many Raiders back and better footwork and skill. Hemauer takes that ball, sends it out to the right side to Texas. Texas dribbles up the field there. There she goes on the right side. Menominee defender following, giving her all the space she wants. So Texas sends it to Kaler. Uh, not controlled well enough. Ball goes back to Menominee there. And they can't control the ball either. So ball goes to Hudson, Kate Sanaki for the Raiders, dribbles up field here, gets past one defender, gets past the second defender, gets past the third defender, how about a left foot, Kate? There's a left foot that is knocked back in. That's another goal, that's a goal by Kyla Shuey, folks. And uh, Kyla Shuey got that ball. Uh, I tell you what, they didn't give us that one, folks. Another offsides call. That's what happens in this game, though. Referees see that, and uh, if our players pass the last defender, I think that's either number five or six on the Hudson Raiders. Coach Knudsen's not going to be very happy with his team. But how many hasn't been offsides because they actually haven't had too many balls up the field like that. And how many maintain possession on that ball? They send it upfield, but Maddie Hemauer intercepts. Tries to get it up to our midfield, turns it over. Menominee has the ball. See if they can get started with something here. They send it to their outside. Hudson regathers. Hemauer with the touch. Can't quite touch it before it goes out of bounds. Solsa takes the throw in there. And it looks like they're going to sub. <laughs> Solsa looked upset. She wanted to take that throw, but the whistle was blown because there's a substitution of players happening. Number six for the Menominee Mustangs, Anna Wolf, the senior midfielder and defender, is going to take that throw. She gets it out to number 28 there. That's Anne Marie White for. Uh, the Menominee Mustangs, a young sophomore playing for Menominee. Maggie Kaler gets a ball, sends a long ball up to the corner. Kate Johnson on the left side is there. Johnson comes in on the left side, gets a left shot off, left-footed shot off. Disappointed in her, in her effort there. It's actually a pretty good run by Kate Johnson there, but I think she knows she might be able to do better, get a little more power on that shot and redirect that more toward the goal next time. But Kate Johnson, that was a great effort, carrying the ball up the left side and getting the shot off. Here's Zunker putting the ball on the goal box line, ready to take the goal kick. Gets it outside. Touched by Menominee into their midfield there. Menominee trying to handle the ball. Don't do a very good job at that. There's Kate Sanaki dispossessing the ball there. Nice footwork by Kate to get past two defenders again. Sanaki sends a left-footed ball up to Kaler. Kaler sends it out to the left to Kate Johnson. Menominee intercepts that ball. And they, do they send it out about, what do we have here, Mr. Merkel? We have a free kick or a throw in. Either one, Mr. Merkel's calling the ball. It's going to the Menominee Mustangs there. Looks like he's calling a throw in ball. Went out of bounds on Hudson. I thought he might have been calling a push or a trip on Hudson. Ball went out the touch line there. Goes to Menominee for the throw. Uh, they just kicked the ball around. And that looks like it's gonna be a throw in for Hudson. That's a free kick for Hudson, called a foul. So Ryder's setting up uh, probably about 40 yards out, about 10 yards out, 15 yards outside the box there, 30, 35 yards. Takes a wide angle run on this. She's gonna take a right-footed free kick here. Lofts the ball into the box area. There's Kaler who receives the ball. 
Though it goes from uh, Kaler to Haynes. Haynes gets a left foot shot, but it's stopped by Zunker there. Haynes had an opportunity to score in this three to nothing game that the Raiders lead. Ball in the midfield is possessed by Anna Wolf there, the Mustangs. She sends it back to her defenders. It's intercepted by Kaler, sends it out to the left wing there for the Raiders. Kate Johnson sends it back to Brooke Gottschalk. Gottschalk sends it to Taylor Klatt. Ball gets dispossessed and Menominee starts heading upfield. And they send it upfield trying to start on the attack. Sarah Helene, nice body trap there, drops the ball to her feet, controls it, gets the ball up to Kate Sanaki. Kate lifts the ball with the right foot up, headed out by the Mustangs. Kate has the ball again, trying to get around a defender, and she does. Kate left foots the ball into the goal box there. There's Maggie Kaler, and the ball is harmlessly sent out of bounds by the Menominee goalkeeper. It's gonna be a throw in for the Hudson Raiders. That was good effort by Zunker. Uh, challenged hard by Kaler. Kaler knocks down Zunker. Uh, no foul there, good clean play. Both had rights to the ball. Uh, Brad Merkel's got to go get the ball. Hudson doesn't have ball kids at this game, unfortunately. Trying to get young youth teams to come and be ball kids for the games. Any ball kids interested or teams, call Coach Knutson and uh, try to get in as a, as a team for ball girls. There's a throw in by Helene, unfortunately. Well, I guess Menominee, I thought that went out the end line, but Menominee knocks it out of bounds. It's just gonna be another throw in for the Hudson Raiders. There's Sarah Helene, junior defender for the Raiders, taking the throw in again. She finds Gottschalk open in the middle there. Solsa bumps Gottschalk from behind, and uh, that ball is sent out of bounds by Hudson. Excuse me, by Hudson, that's gonna be the Menominee Mustangs ball. <coughs> Menominee takes the throw. They maintain possession momentarily, but Gottschalk uh, steps in. Menominee gets the ball back, tries to send it upfield. Maddie Hemmower does a nice job stepping up, getting the ball upfield. Raiders are forming an attack again. Here's Kate Sanaki from way outside, up and over the goal box there. That was a good effort by Kate Sanaki. Got to get the body over the ball to get that thing down lower. That eight foot uh, height in the goal by, in the in the goal there uh, just wasn't enough. Sanaki sent it about 10 yards over. Goal kick uh, sent by Menominee up the field and knocked out of bounds by Hudson there. It's Menominee's throw. Headed by Taylor Klatt. Ball knocks around the midfield there. Maddie Hemauer sends it back to uh, Emily Ryder who sends that ball upfield. Number seven, Kaya Fea has got the ball on the right wing. Ball goes out of bounds off Menominee. It's gonna be Raiders ball. Kaya Faya, the junior, she's one of the uh, great players for the JV team that gets called up to play with varsity. Uh, junior defender here, Maddie Hemauer, number 22, is going to take the throw after Hudson substitutes here. We've got some great young players. Uh, Faya and Shuey do a nice job for the Raiders. There's a throw in, goes to Faya. Faya tries to get a touch on the ball. Ball sent out of bounds or into the midfield by Menominee. Ball comes up field. Possessions regained by Menominee here. Solsa tries to turn, sends it up to her teammate who sends it to the forward. Got a little something going on here for Menominee, but they send it, they cross it to the midfield there. Oh, there's a trip on Sarah Helene. Not caught by the uh, referee there. The ball goes out of bounds, but that uh, clearly should have been a trip on Menominee from behind on Sarah Helene, who's got a bit of a bum ankle the way it is. Looks like she's, uh, either feeling that ankle or digging dirt out of her cleats right now, but uh, Helene did a nice job trying to get that ball out of harm's way. Uh, Hudson ends up sending that ball out of bounds. It's gonna be a corner kick for Menominee. This is as close to anything we can call offense for Menominee all night here. Looks like they're not even quite sure what to do there. Uh, Menominee looks like uh, Nastia Solsa is gonna take this corner. Menominee's trying to be pretty active here. They send a ball in that's knocked out by Megan Manette there. Menominee still gets a touch, sends it back to Solsa, tries to get it to the middle, turns it over to the Raiders. Uh, Shuey battling in there very well. And there's Gottschalk sending a ball upfield. Got a whistle there on the play. Ball's gonna come back. Let's see who that foul is on. That foul's on the Hudson Raiders. Menominee is ready to set up for a free kick. These are dangerous outside the box. Hudson trying to form a wall there. Kyla Shuey trying to find a home there. She goes onto the side of the wall. Shot comes up and into uh, Emily Brisky. 
That is the closest thing we had to offense by Menominee all night. Brisky gathers the ball, does a nice job of distribution there to uh, Texas. Texas is dispossessed by Menominee. Ball comes back, we're under attack here, folks. Menominee, the Mustangs have the ball, and number six, Anna Wolf sends a harmless left-footed ball out the end line. There is just no confidence there, folks. Uh, Hudson, as you can see, challenges in the box every chance they can get. Menominee just sends harmless balls in and tries to get lucky, but they haven't been lucky so far. Goalkeeper Emily Brisky back in the goal box. Emily Ryder, center back, the junior for Hudson, ready to take the goal kick. Ryder sends the ball up to the midfield, intercepted by Menominee, comes right back at Hudson. Hemauer sends the ball to Texas out on the right flank there. Texas gets the ball to Gottschalk. Gottschalk dribbling upfield. Sends a nice long ball, hits the back of number five. Number five is Alyssa Jones, senior defender. There's Texas with the ball again. Jordan Heltebrand, number 13. Dribbles the ball into the midfield, and there's a shot. I think that was Lauren Berglund, folks. Bergie takes a shot. It's to the right side of the Hudson side of the goal there. Zunker grabs the ball, takes the goal kick for Menominee there. Another short ball just outside the box. Menominee has the ball, tries to send it forward, turns it over to Hemauer, Hemauer to Gottschalk. Here's Gottschalk going up the right flank there. Uh, there's Jordan Heltebrand again, trying to make a move and does on one defender, trying to get around a second defender, can't quite go through her. Heltebrand still battling for the ball, but knocks it out of bounds. That's gonna be a Menominee Mustang ball. Menominee takes the throw. Intercepted by uh, Maddie Hemauer there. Ball's going back and forth. Knocked out of bounds by Hemauer. Another free throw in by Menominee. Menominee sends it upfield. Solsa gets it out to the left flank there and the left side forward just knocks it into open space. And Emily Ryder gathers it. He uses foot skills to dribble around to Heltebrand. Heltebrand over to Gottschalk. Gottschalk by one defender. That away, that's good, Brooke. Sends it up into the middle there. That's Marky Thompson, I believe, sends it to Kaya Fea. Kaya running onto the ball to see if she can win that, and she does. She turns the ball, sends it to the midfield there to Gottschalk, number 11. Gottschalk sends it in to Shuey. Oh, Shuey to the right side there had a shot. That's well done by the young playups from the JV team there. Fea and Shuey are very active up on top there, along with midfielders Jordan Heltebrand and others. There's goalkeeper Zunker, another marginal effort on a goal kick. Uh, stopped by a defender, here comes Kaya, Kaya Fea. Kaya gets the ball on the right side. Can she lift it into the box? She does. Ball is headed out of bounds, headed back in by Kaya Fea to the goalkeeper. Kaya Fea getting some excellent touches on the ball here, very positive touches for the Hudson Raiders. Zunker punts the ball about uh, halfway to midfield there, intercepted by Brooke Gottschalk. Gottschalk sends it there to uh, who, Bergie, Bergie's playing center mid for the Raiders right now, a little uncharacteristic, but she's pretty versatile and can play almost anywhere. Sends it to Marky Thompson as a midfielder there, gets it out to Manette. Hudson sends the ball out of bounds, and this is gonna be a Menominee throw in. Knocked out of bounds by the Mustangs there, gonna be Hudson's ball. Megan Minette takes the throw in for the Raiders, sends it up to the left flank there. There's Carly Eichstead playing left forward right now. Gets past one Menominee player, but not the other, and uh, knocked out of bound, or knocked up into the center field. There's uh, Nastia Solsa again trying to run on the ball. She does get possession, knocks it past her outside defender. Minette gets around her, sends a ball into the box, picked up by Brisky there. That's a little bit of effort by Menominee. Brisky bounces the ball, punts the ball again. Ball goes almost to midfield this time for Brisky. Fea's got the ball there up on top for the Raiders. It's intercepted by Menominee, goes back and forth a time or two. Gathered by Hudson, who sends it to Menominee, who sends it to Hudson. Possession is not uh, clearly defined here right now. Hudson's got the ball right now, but they turn it over on dribbling to Menominee. Menominee sends the ball. There's connected passes for Menominee. Two, three in a row there. Menominee sends it into open space. Emily Ryder comes onto the ball there, bangs it off the shins of the Menominee Mustang. She sends the ball in toward the goal box there. Maddie Hemauer gets a touch, tries to play it to the outside and get some space so she can send it upfield, which she does. Deflects off the Menominee player to Jordan Heltebrand. 
Brooke Gottschalk has the ball back to Heltebrand. Heltebrand dribbling upfield. Sends it to Kaya Shuey. Kaya lets it go to Berglund, uh, giving way to the senior captain there. Oh, Berglund with a trip there, and that's a whistle. That's going to be a foul. Looked like she touched the ball first, folks, but the referee, center ref Brad Merkel, calls a tackle from behind, and it'll be a foul and a free kick for the Menominee Mustangs. Nominee's ready to take the kick here, and they do. It's trap, body trapped by Megan Monette. Nice uh, ball brought down to her feet and controlled. Kyla Shuey on the right side for Hudson. Jordan Heltebrand now has the ball, the midfielder. Sends it back up towards Kaya Faya, actually. Kaya is going to uh, play for the ball there. The ball sent out of bounds. It's going to be a Raider throw in here again. With Faye up on top as the right forward, there's Jordan Helterbrand, she's the right mid. Gottschalk comes into your picture there. There's Faye. Uh, Maddie Hemauer takes the throw. The throw goes in to Kaya Faye. Nice ball sent in. Here's Kaya Shuey with a shot, left footed shot scores. First lifted into the air by Kaya Faye, the junior number seven for Hudson. And Kaya Shuey at 67-08 in the second half scores Hudson's fourth goal of the game to lead the Menominee Mustangs. It's Hudson four, Menominee zero. That was a uh, good effort by the young freshman Kaya Shuey for her first goal of the year. Uh, playing up on varsity, that's a, I'll bet she's pretty excited about that. Looks like Coach Knutson's congratulating her over on the sideline there as we speak. Well done, Kaya Shuey. Excellent effort there by Faya and Shuey. Uh, she's going to earn more playing time on varsity with play like that. Menominee's getting reset there. Brad Merkel talking to our captain, Alexa Haynes there, number 16 with her back to you. Brad Merkel and Alexa Haynes are done with their conversation, trading pleasantries. And he's going to get ready to blow the whistle to restart this game. Menominee down 0-4. Uh, they're still playing as hard as they can. But, folks, uh, just not a lot of talent and skill there for the Menominee Mustangs. Menominee takes the kickoff. They send it forward right to Brooke Gottschalk, number 11, who dispossesses them of the ball. Tries to send it upfield uh, to Haynes. Haynes can't get a touch on there. Menominee sends the ball forward. Hudson sends the ball back. Menominee sends the ball forward. There, they get two passes in a row. Menominee maintains possession for a nanosecond there, and they got a ball. They send it to the outside flank there, and that's going to be touched uh, up by Emily Ryder out to the left side there. Hudson's midfielder on the left has got the ball, sends it toward the middle. That's Kate Sanaki. Menominee sends it back and forth. Number six, Megan Monette's there in on the play, and ball goes back to Emily Ryder. Emily plays safe center back uh, most of the time for the Hudson Raiders. Ryder sends a long ball out of bounds. Menominee's gonna take this throw and does. They maintain possession, comes back to the thrower, sends the ball back. Hudson uh, contesting the ball there. Who do we have on the left side there? That must be Kate Sanaki, number 10, good ball handler there. Gets tripped up a little bit there. Calls a foul there, the trip on Kate Sanaki. Hudson's gonna get a free kick. Sanaki in the mids and the forwards move upfield as uh, Emily Ryder, the center back, is gonna take this free kick. Uh, about 45 to 50 yards out. Let's see what Ryder can do with this ball, bringing it into the box. It's a good ball, lofted near the top of the box. Possessions maintained. Haynes makes a good shield move on a Menominee player to Try to maintain possession of the ball. Here's Gottschalk trying to win a ball, but uh, Nastia Sosa for Menominee maintains possession. Uh, dribbles around Gottschalk there. Gottschalk with a bit of a hip check, but Menominee maintained possession, so they let that go. And then Sosa takes a digger into the salsa dip. Uh, <laughs> come on, that was funny. Uh, Hudson is going to knock that ball out of bounds uncharacteristically and give Menominee a corner kick here. Uh, <laughs> Solza <laughs> took a digger into the mud there. And uh, mom's going to have to wash that uniform and get the mud out later. Uh, Menominee is ready here to take a corner kick uh, to see, try and see if they can mount any semblance of offense. Menominee doesn't even have any players in the box area there. That's 
uh, shows you how little confidence they have in their offensive attack. Ball comes back up to Alexa Haynes. She sends it back to Texas there, who sends it back to Haynes or toward Haynes. Maggie Kaler, the other forward in the middle, has it. She's trying to split defenders there. Does get a touch on the ball. Uh, Kaler's strong. Nobody wants to take her on. <coughs> Kaler and Haynes get the ball back to Lauren Berglund. And the ball is uh, mistouched, sent back by Menominee. Misplayed there a little bit by Hemauer, but gathered in by Ryder. Sends it back to Hemauer. Hemauer's got a little more time. Tries to send the ball up. Again, mistouched and given right to a Menominee player. They've got a little bit of offense here. Hem trying to recover there on defense. And Menominee sends it in. Ball is gathered by Brisky there. Looked like it was offsides to me, but uh, no call there on the play. Brisky picks up the ball and punts it. Punts it upfield there. Ball is gathered by Kaler. Kaler trying to do some nice footwork there. Ball gets touched away by Menominee. Regathered by Berglund over to Gottschalk. Gottschalk dribbling up the right side there. Tries to send a through ball to Haynes. Gottschalk gets the ball back. Sends the ball this time to the right flank there to Heltebrand. Heltebrand comes in on the corner of the box, sends it to Haynes. Haynes turns and fires with the right foot. Ball goes out of bounds and that's gonna be a Menominee goal kick. Haynes had a good opportunity there again, received the ball, uh, made a nice turn, didn't quite get turned all the way, and uh, instead of being on the 24-foot wide frame, the ball went about 10 yards to the right side and out of bounds. It's going to be a goal kick for Menominee. And uh, Zunker sends the ball out. It's intercepted by Gottschalk, who controls the ball, sends it to Haynes. Haynes uh, loses the ball there. Hudson does get a shot off there, right to the goalkeeper, Zunker, who makes a good stop there. Good confidence stop. And she punts the ball again. Not a great punter. I, I thought uh, for the size she is, uh, a tall kid, uh, pretty large girl. She, the, the punts uh, just aren't quite there. Uh, Hudson forms the attack there, but the ball's knocked out the end line by the Menominee Mustangs. It's gonna be a corner kick for the Hudson Raiders. Captain Berglund making her way up from the midfield spot to take this corner kick for the Raiders. We're deep into this game now, folks. You can see uh, plenty dark, lights are on, and playing under the lights is uh, something that the Lady Raiders like to do. Berglund takes the corner kick, puts it toward the box. Oh, it tries to be volleyed by Jordan Helterbrand there. She slaps her hands together, probably upset that she missed it, but uh, Hudson's gonna get another opportunity here as the ball was knocked out the end line again by Menominee. Berglund setting up for her second corner kick. She's gonna defer here. And changes her mind. <laughs> I, thought, I think Bergie might have thought she was being subbed off, but uh, probably not. Berglund is gonna take this corner. Here she is again. Ready for the kick, ball comes in. And uh, grabbed by the goalkeeper, bobbled, but then picked up again. Uh, Hudson could be opportunistic there, being by the goalkeeper for rebound opportunities there. Uh, Zunker sends the ball up the field. It's uh, gone back and forth between Hudson and Menominee a few times. Uh, Hudson tries to maintain possession there. They send a long ball up to the top left, headed by Sanaki into the middle, knocked back toward the midfield here. And uh, that would be Megan Manette, the left side defender over there again, knocks the ball off the shins of Menominee player out of the touchline on the left, and Hudson takes another throw. <laughs> Hudson's throw in here. Hudson's had their share of throw-ins today, folks, and maintained possession on a majority of them, which is, which is great. Menominee, however, gathers possession here. They try to maintain possession, simply can't. Back and forth a few times here in transition. Ball's gonna be gathered in by number 20, senior Carly Eichstead there. Tries to go through number 22, uh, Amy Hildebrand from Menominee. Can't go through her. Always need to go around. Menominee gathers the ball here. Ball's intercepted by Klatt, who sends the ball up to Haynes, over to Kaler. Kaler looks like she's gonna get a shot here. Haynes actually comes back to her for a shot. Goes off the foot, of, uh, looked like it went off the Menominee defender, but the referee's given the Menominee Mustangs a, a, a goal kick here, so it must have just been shot out of bounds by Haynes. Referees uh, couldn't be wrong, of course, that uh, has never happened. Goal kick here by Zunker for the Menominee Mustangs. 
Short ball again, but to the outside and just goes out of bounds harmlessly. Number two, the defender, Saranda Uckel, couldn't gather that in. Hudson's going to take the throw in here. It looks like number 22, Maddie Hemmer. No, it's 23, Kyla Shuey. Kyla's going to take this throw in, throws it into Taylor Klatt. Klatt tries to uh, do a pull back there, sends it back to Shuey. Shuey uh, sends the ball right to the Menominee Indian. I keep saying Indians. That's the old name again, folks. Menominee Mustangs. I got to get that right. There's Sarah Helene back on defense again, and a short ball with not much on it gets intercepted. Bergie's trying to clean this up. Bergie sends it off the shins of the Menominee Mustang. That should be Hudson's ball, folks, and it is. Bergie's ready for the throw in there. That was another good use. Bergie's a smart defender that often plays it off the offensive player for the opponent uh, side and uh, takes the throw in for Hudson. Ike said they're battling for a ball on the touch line there. Menominee gets two or three touches in small space. Ike said gets the ball but carries it out of bounds. It'll be Menominee throw in there. Menominee takes the throw. That's a marginal throw. It's got to go over her head, which it didn't really, but it doesn't matter. They quickly give the ball back to Hudson with uh, poor ball skills. There's Kyla Shuey again, the young freshman, going to take the throw in there. Ball's touched by Haynes up on top. Sends it back to Berge, who's back to play in center back for the Raiders. Berge sends the ball up to Shuey. We don't quite get there. Menominee gets the ball, and they send it up the flank. Uh, Helene coming all the way from the left defense. Does a nice job to dispossess the ball there. Menominee kicks it out of bounds. It's Hudson ball. Well done by Helene. That's a good throw in, too. Uh, it's intercepted by Menominee, though, and sent out of bounds. That's now going to be a goal kick for the Hudson Raiders. <coughs> They get the ball to Emily Brisky. Gets the ball to Berglund. Brisky gets back in goal, and Captain Berglund sets the ball up for the goal kick for the Hudson Raiders, who are up four to nothing in this first conference game of the season, the Big Rivers Conference. Uh, Hudson 0-0 uh, zero, zero in conference and two and one overall. Uh, ready to tally their first win. They will be one and zero in conference and three and one overall after this game. Eichstead in the midfield, gathers the ball, tries to turn. Uh, small short steps with it, sends a longer ball up to the forwards there. Uh, ball is touched by Kaya Fea there, number seven. Goes back over to Menominee. Menominee tries to uh, get it up to the right side of the field. Can't quite get it there. Ball goes harmlessly back into the goal box, into the penalty box for the Hudson Raiders where Brisky grabs the ball, bounces it once and punts it, which he customarily does. Ball is headed there by Alexa Haynes. Uh, Maggie Kaler now has the ball. She's trying to burst past that last defender who's got her arm out there holding her off. That should uh, not happen, but it did. Menominee uses Hudson, uh, and ball is banged off of Carly Eichstead's shins, and that's going to end up being a Menominee Mustang ball. Here's Menominee with a throw late in the game, folks. Got number 15 back there. Again, that's Kennedy Kurd uh, by Alexa Haynes there for the Raiders. Ball is thrown in, goes past Eichstead, comes back to Eichstead, who gets it into the middle. Kaya Fea sends the ball up to the top of the box. Maggie Kaler, who tries to make a play, but does the sportsman-like thing and pulls off instead of kicking the goalkeeper. Once the ball touches the goalkeeper's hands and is under control, uh, you are to back off. Hudson gets the ball back in their defensive area there. Ball is touched away by Helene, then Berglund. Berglund sends it to the left. Helene is back out on the left side there. Sends it out of bounds. It's going to be Menominee's ball. Menominee gets ready to take the throw. That's another poor throw by the Mustangs there. Uh, ball's touched up field by Sarah Helene trying to get it up to Kate Sanaki. She does. Hudson still maintains possession. Now it's Kate Johnson with a trip there. And they didn't call, uh, they didn't call a foul because Hudson still had possession. Uh, so they let that play on. Anytime a team has the advantage while there was a foul, the referee has a discretion to allow the advantage to continue rather than call the foul, which is the right thing to do. Hudson sending the ball forward, touched by Menominee, but not controlled. Kate Sanaki, number 10 for Hudson, has the ball. She sends a through ball to Alexa Haynes. Alexa gets away. Goalkeeper touches the goalkeeper. That's another good play by Zunker. I thought Haynes might have had her second goal of the game there. Then Haynes uh, 
Haynes takes a takes a whack at the player there, and that might be a little frustration for not being able to get that goal in. Haynes is a tough kid. She, she's going to give it her best all the time. 79-41 into this game. There's only about uh, 15 seconds left, and Hudson will take their first win of the season in conference in the Big Rivers Conference and go up uh, 1-0 in conference and 3-1 and overall. Menominee sends the ball to the midfield, knocked back in. And the game is over, folks. 80 minutes into this game. The Hudson Raiders have won this game four to nothing. Again, our one and zero in the Big Rivers Conference, three and one overall. See you at the next game, folks. <laughs>